Today, seven sea turtle species inhabit the world's oceans. Only two call the Mediterranean Sea their home. The loggerhead turtle and the green turtle. Nesting beaches of both of these species can be found in the warmer eastern part of the Mediterranean Sea, where higher temperatures ensure a suitable thermal environment for the development of embryos in the sand. The main nesting beaches of the loggerhead turtle are in Libya, Greece, Cyprus, and Turkey. The green turtle nests in the warmest eastern part of the Mediterranean, in Turkey, Cyprus, and Syria. Once the hatchlings reach the sea, they spend their first few years in life in open waters. Drifting on the sea currents between the Eastern Mediterranean, Ionian Sea, and the Southern Adriatic Sea. After this pelagic phase, turtles move to shallower, coastal areas where they feed on the sea bottom. Adult loggerhead turtles feed predominantly on benthic invertebrates, while the green turtle is vegetarian and feeds mainly on sea grasses and algae. EU countries host both reproductive and foraging habitats of the crucial importance for survival of both of these Mediterranean sea turtles. The green turtle nests on beaches in Cyprus, while the loggerhead turtle is found in both Cyprus and Greece. These two EU countries alone host more than 50% of the loggerhead turtle nesting population of the Mediterranean. Major foraging grounds for both species can be found in several EU countries, including Italy, Slovenia, Croatia, Malta, Cyprus, and Greece. The Northern Adriatic Sea is considered to be the largest foraging habitat for the loggerhead turtle in the Mediterranean. Unfortunately, both species are threatened by numerous human activities on land and in the sea such as intense coastal development, tourism, and fishing. Because sea turtles breed and forage in different and distant EU countries, an efficient conservation can only be achieved through an integrated and coordinated macro-regional approach. To reach this goal, nine partners from six EU countries, which host these key habitats, join together in the Life Euro Turtles Project. The Life Euro Turtles Project carries out several actions to conserve sea turtles and mitigate threats within the EU part of the Mediterranean Sea. Hrvatski prirodoslovni muzeji i partneri iz šest zemalja Europske unije prijavili smo projekt na direktno financiranje iz Europskog fonda LIFE. Dobili smo projekt idućih pet godina. Dakle, cilj nam je upravo s toga što su to životinje koje zapravo povezuju Jadran i Mediteran, koje dijelo je svog staništa pronalaze i u Jadranu, ali i u drugim dijelovima Mediterana, zapravo napraviti neku ponovo zajedničku soradnju u zaštiti, odnosno u očuvanju te ugrožene vrste. It is nesting season. Every night, volunteers patrol the main nesting beaches and monitor the turtles. A sea turtle needs a quiet beach to start excavating the nest and laying eggs. Any bright light, any movement or loud noise could make her abandon the nesting attempt and return to the sea. Immediately after the last egg is laid, she begins to cover the chamber. She then camouflages its location by throwing the sand over the nesting site. Before returning to the sea, our volunteers measure and mark her using flipper tags so that each individual can be later identified when they return to the nest again. Yes. 
In the morning, the volunteers look for new nesting sites from the night before. Despite tracks from crawling, the turtles' efforts to camouflage the nest chamber make it hard to find. Each nest is marked and protected. A street mesh is placed over the top to prevent dogs and foxes from reaching the eggs while allowing the hatchlings to pass through when they start to emerge. Dogs and foxes are a real threat, and traces of their activities can be found all around the beach. Every year, around 2,000 nests are recorded in Capricia Beach on the Peloponnesus in Greece. This is one of the most important nesting sites for loggerhead turtles in the whole Mediterranean. Marking the nests also helps to protect them from visitors coming to the beach for the summer holidays, which coincides with the nesting season. We're using the same practices, uh, protection for both. So if two, uh, 2006, the Garetta started increasing, and 2012, the green started increasing, we'll have a gap of about seven years, six, seven years uh, more before the green turtles start nesting. It's something to keep in mind, but uh, a lot of people expect results soon. Protection of nesting sites and main nesting beaches has enabled the recovery of loggerhead turtles and green turtles in the Mediterranean. Life Euro Turtles is providing funding to expand and protect more nesting sites. The expansion of this work to include new extensive areas requires new specific technologies for the early detection of nests. For the next year, we improve our monitoring activities. We will use the drones uh, to cover uh, better and uh, more areas. And we will uh, involve also in, the, in our activities uh, the municipalities of the area uh, where we are working to realize altogether some uh, conservation strategy. The sand of the nesting beach gets really hot during the daytime and that's the reason why we move to the shade. But that's also the reason why hatchlings won't emerge through the nest on such a hot sand. They will actually wait for the night to come and that's the time when they will actually start to come out of their nest. Around 60 days after nesting, hatchlings will start to emerge from the nest. For life Euro turtles, the final phase of work on the nesting beach is starting.
Volunteers count the number of hatched and unhatched eggs in each nest, providing information on the success of the nesting season. Fishing is the biggest threat to sea turtles. Many turtles are accidentally caught on drifting longliners. Although a hook in the mouth may cause a bad injury, most animals survive. However, if a fishing line attached to the hook is swallowed, this can cause serious internal injuries and a painful death. The Life Euro Turtles partners work closely with fishers to develop means to safely release hooked animals. Avoid pulling the line and cutting the line as close to the mouth as possible before the release. Gives the turtle the best chance to survive and recover. In the Adriatic Sea, thousands of turtles are accidentally caught by trawling boats during the winter. When brought to the boat, the turtles are cold and may be comatose, which can give the false impression that they are dead. If they are thrown back into the sea in this state, they will not be able to swim and will probably drown. One of the biggest activities we have with the project is working with fishermen to try and prevent incidental turtle bycatch, to educate them on how to deal with a turtle that's caught accidentally, how to throw it back with the best chance of survival. The correct release procedure is simple. Even if you think a turtle is dead, leave it on board and give it time to recover its mobility. This can take hours. Once mobility is recovered, release is safe. Many fishing gears are either accidentally or intentionally discarded. This is called ghost gear. It is a deadly trap for many marine organisms. Sea turtles get entangled in ghost nets and simply drown. One of the actions that are being carried in Cyprus is to actually to collect and remove fishing gear from the Natura 2000 side of Polis Yaya and actually collaborate with a recycling company that can recycle the fishing gear, the discarded fishing gear, and convert it to energy which is one of the actions that's um, happening only in Cyprus. Set nets are among the deadliest fishing gear for sea turtles. It is estimated in the northern Adriatic alone, more than 2,000 loggerhead turtles get entangled and die every year. But what if we can show the turtles where the net is so they can avoid it. The Life Euro Turtles partners in Croatia and Slovenia are experimenting with the use of LED lights to make the nets visible for sea turtles, illuminating them during the night. Greater visibility should help reduce turtle bycatch. In order to obtain information about turtle hotspots in key foraging and breeding marine areas, the Life Euro Turtles partners are combining the use of new technologies, drones, and aerial surveys in a newly developed GSM transmitter. Newly developed field protocols for use of drones allows the identification of relative densities of sea turtles near shore. Operators fly drones along the predefined routes, recording everything close to the sea surface. By analyzing the recordings, researchers can calculate relative density of sea turtles in the sea and monitor the trends. We spotted something that might be a sea turtle, so now we are going to slow down the video and try to locate it with, uh, with a zoom. So it was in the, on the right side. You can 
you can see it here. And when we play it, you can see the flippers going back and forth. So we assume this is, this is one of the sea turtles in the video. In the northern Adriatic Sea, researchers use small planes and aerial surveys to count turtles along predefined transits. This method provides information on the actual numbers of sea turtles within the surveyed area and their distribution. Nevertheless, to achieve an effective conservation, detailed information is also required on how turtles use their habitat and where they migrate. The Live Euro Turtles partners are developing a new type of transmitter based on GSM phone technology and obtain detailed information on animal movements in the Mediterranean Sea. Our aim was to develop a transmitter for sea turtle tracking. When sea turtle is at surface, the device records current location using GPS satellites. This device uh, transmits the data via mobile network, which is a new approach. It also is uh, cheaper, it's more accurate and uh, affordable for uh, researchers. So first we developed a PCB, then we performed a laboratory test and after successful tests we developed a housing for this uh, device and then we performed uh, tests in the real environment. This technology has many advantages. It is much cheaper than using satellites. It can provide much more data and batteries are solar charged so they can transmit for a longer period. Okay, so I'm covering um, five past minutes. Here is a loggerhead turtle tagged with a GSM device, returning to her nesting beach in Capricia, Greece. Oh, the tags do not endanger the animal. Nine, five, they eventually fall from the shell, but until then, pit. they collect and transmit zero, data zero. on movements oh and behavior. Zero, zero. This data zero, will provide four. insight into their biology and enhance conservation measures. Babes, come on. Many sea turtles are injured by human activities. Others swallow plastic, mistaking it for jellyfish. Malnourished or exhausted individuals are often found stranded on the beaches. They need professional help and care. The Life Euro Turtles partners in Cyprus, Greece, and Croatia are upgrading and expanding their rescue centers to provide better care to sick and injured animals. Sea turtles are incredibly resilient, so with help, they can fully recover to be successfully released back into the wild. We also registered uh, the increasing of uh, plastic in uh, every sea turtles uh, uh, we released. Uh, and this is a really a, a, a great problem, not easy to, to manage and to resolve. In Malta we tend to have about 20 to 30 bike turtles a year. The majority of them we do manage to rescue and quite a few of those go on to be successfully rehabilitated. And especially with time it's getting even better. We also have realized some public events. First of all, many uh, uh, sea turtle release. And it's very amazing to see how many people uh, have participated to these events with, with really a great emotion. I think that the, uh, these activities, or the sensibilization activities of people is very important to guarantee to uh, the, the future of, of uh, the sea turtles.
the release of rehabilitated animals are happy events, and the public happily joins us in celebration. Uh, also, we have the unique opportunity to create a very unique educational material to make the new generations more sensitive uh, about the, the species that we love and we want to protect. Prirodoslovni muzej uključio se u projekt njihove zaštite i očuvanja u kojem sudjeluje na 40 kilometarskoj plaži blizu Kiparisije. Jednom od dominjenih jezdišta. Různými domestikovanými divokými zvířaty. Začít jejich ochranu se snaží vědci zapojení do evropského programu Life. The Life Euro Turtles Partners carries out many activities aimed at raising public awareness on the need for sea turtle conservation. We are constantly communicating through electronic media, public events conferences, lectures, and published materials. In addition, we have developed an eTurtle app, an application for mobile phones and a web platform for data collection and exchange. The eTurtle app is used by citizens, fishers, and researchers to report their findings and observations of sea turtles. First of all, we have a unique opportunity to expand in new project areas that we were not able to cover and with this chance for the next five years of the project duration and then also after, for more years after the project ends, we'll have the opportunity to protect nests and cover actually the 99% of the nesting activity in our country, which is major impact for us, uh, for the conservation of the population. I think that the project overall, since it's Mediterranean-wide, is brilliant because it really opens up the ability to communicate with other people in the Mediterranean and allows you to network, to share ideas, to share methods, to share plans on how to effectively conserve turtles. And since that we should all share one sea, it makes sense to, share, to conserve them across the whole sea as, a, as opposed to just individual countries. What's the really important thing, the most important thing and fascinating thing is that for the first time in a life project, it's a cooperation of six different countries covering the biggest part of the Eastern Mediterranean. So it's like also very important for all the, our authorities to understand that we need like collaborative actions in order to be able to protect in practice these migrative species. And I'm learning really many, many things from the other partners because the, uh, the other value of the project is the, the, the rich and complex partnership. So I think uh, we will improve e each other and for me it's a really a good experience. Oh, it's been fantastic. <laughs> once, in a, once in a lifetime, yeah. As the results of our project are collated, over the last years, we have observed encouraging signs. Increases in the number of clutches laid on monitored beaches. Fishers are now using safe recovery and release methods. And many areas have been cleared from ghost gears. Our project shows that the result of real active and continuous work on sea turtle conservation can provide measurable results. We will continue our work, gain new knowledge, 
and develop new and better tools for sea turtle conservation. <laughs>